Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to share with you a freebie that so many people I'm sure are going to love. I have over a hundred CSS hover animations for your Divi menu. So if your menus are looking boring, if you're using the theme builder and you're just not getting any settings, which there's not many at this point, you're going to love this freebie. So all you have to do is download the CSS file, find the one you want and put it in the class and there you have some awesome CSS animations um, over your Divi menu. So I'm excited to share this. What I'm gonna do in this video, you're gonna have to download the, the snippets. I won't be actually going through all 100 and some of them, but I'm going to show you a couple examples like, okay, this is how you do it. You just take this snippet, add to class, and there you go. I'm gonna be showing that in this video. Let's get started. All right, so if you found your way to our blog post with the free effects download, you can go over there. And if you haven't found it, go to our blog and look for the free uh, Divi freebies. And then you'll come to here. All right, so you can, of course, go to look at the demos, which we're going to do shortly. But in order to download these first, you have to be subscribed. And I think that's only fair. Um, we put tons and tons of hours into all of our freebies, and this one especially. Um, took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, but just go ahead and put in your name and email. And what's going to happen is um, if you're already subscribed, you still have to do that. And what it will do is it'll check to see if you're subscribed and it'll say, oh, okay. And then it'll give you the download link right here. It's going to be a little link that shows up. This box will go away. It'll be a link. Um, and again, if you have, like, if you haven't subscribed already, it's a similar process. Put in your name and email. And then what it's going to do is ask you to confirm that you got that email. Then you'll be able to download it. So again, you'll be downloading everything right here on the blog post um, with this here that you'll see. So, okay. So once you have it downloaded, um, then we're going to look at what you have. So I'm going to go and show you um, what, what comes with that. So it'll be a zip file to say Divi menu animation. So I'm on a Windows computer right now, but whatever you're on, just unzip that. So I'm going to extract all. And um, that's the terminology here on Windows. So inside that, you'll see this um, Divi menu animations.css. Now, when I open this, um, I'm going to be opening that in brackets. So brackets is a code editor that's free and one I recommend. So you can go to brackets.io and download that if you don't already have that. And here we are in our code editor. And you can see that we have a lot of these snippets in here, 101 to be exact. All right, so you may be wondering, well, how am I gonna you know, find one of these that I wanna use? Well, let's go over to our demo and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to find these. So here they all are. And I even have this handy little um, toggle at the side here um, where you can just, you know, of course this is using the new Divi fixed position thing. Um, but anyway, so you can find what you need here quickly. Like say, oh, I know I want a border transition. Um, you could go down here and look at some of the borders, um, you know, or underline, whatever it may be. It just kind of helps you. But w what you'll see here is I have them in sections. So underlines, overlines, double line, background, 2D, borders and shadows. So, and I also have a name here and a class. So basically in the CSS file that I just showed you, there's going to be, you're going to be able to find these classes and you're also going to find the name. So like fade would be underline fade, you know, or grow, underline grow. Um, so that's how you're going to be looking at them. And it's the same way with, with any of these um, background, you know, um, so swipe is background swipe, and then you'll look for this code right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's um, well, yeah, let's just take one of these. So PA background swipe. I'm gonna copy that from here because it's gonna make it easier, and then go back to that CSS file. All right. So in here, I'm gonna use the find feature, and I'm gonna type that in, and right away it showed me where it's at. So okay. So start background swipe. I would copy from there down to where it says end background swipe. And so that's the snippet that we want. And then I would just copy that. And then I'd want to go over here to my actual website where I want to put that. So I already have a menu module. So this works with the menu module. So we would want to put our CSS code in here. 
So I would go in here to my page or I would actually want to go to like your theme options and you would want to put this code in. So paste that. All right, so it's still just sort of hanging out here. But let's make sure that we copy the PA background swipe again because that's what we need to put into this menu. So we need to tell the menu uh, what effect to use. So let's go in here and paste it in there. And let's be sure that we don't have any period at the beginning when you're putting it in here to Divi. All right, so you may be looking at it and you're like, oh, this doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like the demo. Well, that's because we added some padding. So let's go back again to our CSS file and go to the very top. And you'll notice something that we've added. Um, right here it says add some spacing around menu items and then also another one is eliminate uh, opacity change on hover so by default Divi has like this like 0.7 opacity when you hover over menu so let's copy these first two things here so again this is starting at line 15 let's copy these and no matter what snippet we're going to use we're going to want to copy these because it just adds some spacing um, makes it look a lot better so then where we put the code, we would want to go back in there and paste this. So let's put it back in here ahead of that. And there you can see already it's um, it's looking so much better just by adding that extra padding here. And you can adjust that as needed. Um, and then when you hover. So that was one example. And that's exactly how you would do any of these. So we have PA background swipe. Let's go back over here. Uh, maybe we'll look for another one that we want to use. So again, we have 101 of these here. Um, they're all different. Uh, hopefully you can you know, find the ones that you like. Uh, let's see, which ones do we want to use for a demo? I'm thinking like one with the borders. I kind of like the border ones. Um, it really doesn't matter what you want to choose. And um, yeah, some of these are really unique. So that one's, again, that one's unique. Um, Fact, let's just pick one. Let's just pick. Um, let's pick and close. So we would pick this this PA border and close, and we could even copy that here. And we could what we could do is we could go back into our menu a while, put it in here, and notice we don't have the period again. So it went off because there's no longer that code. So let's go grab that snippet. So in my code editor, I'll go in here and search for that border and close there it is and where it starts start border and close now this one's going to be a longer one because it's just a lot more going on if you look at the demo so down to end border and close okay let's copy that and then back into where we have our css which again you could put in theme options css or in your child theme let's get rid of what we had there before paste over it and there we go so you see how this is working. This this class here um, in the snippet has to be assigned in the menu for it to be telling it correctly what to do. And if you need any more instructions on how to do this, um, back on the original blog post, which of course is linked down below, we do have some written directions. So we're, we go through, um, and in fact, we go through an example over there and we tell you everything that we've told you here in fact, it, it probably gives a little extra detail, especially if you're more of a beginner with Divi and you want to check that out, have a screenshot and, and showing you how to add the classes and things like that. So be sure to check that out. Um, that's really all that I have to show you. Um, you can pick and choose whichever ones you want and you know go through, go through all of our um, 101 here. Find the one you want and then find the class and we've even included it here. And... Um, and then just add it like I just showed you. So if you have any questions or anything you want to say, you know, leave them here on YouTube or on the blog and, you know, enjoy the freebie. All right. So again, this is free. Find this on our blog. You can download it and get started. Pick the ones you want. I'm really excited about this. I really enjoy giving away these freebies and I hope that they're useful. Um, you know, I didn't try to make like a big fluffy, file. I wanted these all to be useful. I handpicked every single one of these and designed these specifically, you know, to be useful. You know, there was other ones that I could have done that, you know, weren't weren't quite as good. I really hope you enjoy these. Let me know if you like this kind of freebie. 
If you have other ideas for freebies, something that you want me to create, hey, I'll consider it. Let me know and you can, you can let me know in the comments or in our Divi Teacher Facebook group. All right, well, hey, we'll see you in our next video.